Hi, my name is Chad Carpenter, and I'm the Director of Pupil Transportation at the Alabama State Department of Education. This is a video that demonstrates proper procedures for school bus drivers. Here, you will see a pre-trip inspection, procedures for loading and unloading students, crossing railroad tracks, and emergency stops. You will also see a demonstration for the skills test that bus drivers must pass to gain their CDL and Alabama school bus certification. This test includes three different backing skills. We encourage you to watch and study this video. It is designed to help you gain the knowledge and skills necessary to become a professional school bus driver. Through the process of watching and studying this video, you should also be practicing the skills you see demonstrated here on a school bus with your local school systems trainer. We have some wonderful bus drivers across our great state, but we always need more. It is vital that you learn these skills until they become a habit and second nature. Our school buses have come a long way. There's more technology on our buses today than ever before, but there's nothing that can replace a great school bus driver. You, as a school bus driver, are the most effective safety device that can ever be placed on a school bus. You will determine whether the bus will be operated effectively and safely or recklessly and dangerously. Please don't choose the latter. Your biggest responsibility will always be the safety of the students on your bus. Their lives are in your hands. Do not take this responsibility lightly. I would like to thank Jack Jackson, Director of Talladega County Schools Pupil Transportation Department, Philip Cosper, Assistant Director and Trainer, Greg Lucas, Shop Foreman, and all the mechanics at Talladega County Schools for allowing us to use their buses and facilities for this video. I would also like to thank their videographer, Cody Needham, for shooting some of the video that you will see. As I said earlier, Philip Cosper is not only the Assistant Director at Talladega County Schools, but he is also their bus driver trainer. Philip is featured in this video. As you will see, Philip is an excellent trainer. In addition, I want to thank Shane Gillis, Charles Creel, Billy Holland, and Mike Morris with the Alabama State Department of Education for producing, shooting, and editing this video. All of these I've mentioned do an outstanding job. This video has truly been a team effort. It is our goal that you find this video both informative and compelling to be the best bus driver that you can be. Thank you. Hello, my name is Philip Cosper, and I'm the Transportation Supervisor and Trainer for Talladega County Schools. Today, I will be showing you how to do a pre-trip that you will have to complete at the end of new driver school. Before we get started, there are three things that you must do. First, you have to have the keys in your pocket. You make sure the bus is on flat and level ground, and we will chalk the bus. Now we can begin at the front of the bus. So I approach the top of the bus. I look at my lights, lens covers, nothing's damaged, my reflectors are there, nothing's cracked or broken. I look at my windshield, there's no cracks, no damage on the windshield. I look at my wipers and the wiper blades, they are intact. I will check for function when I board the bus. I look at my headlights, there's no cracks, no damages. I look underneath my bus, I see no leaks or fluids. I approach the bus, my crossing arm, it is secure. I come to the side of the bus. I look at my crossover mirror, there's no cracks, no damages, and it's secure. I look at my side mirrors, there's no cracks, no damages, and it is secure. At this point, I will unlatch this side of the hood. I will go to the passenger side. This crossover mirror, there's no cracks, no damages, and it's secure. I look at these side mirrors, there's no cracks, no damages, and it's secure. I unlatch this side of the hood to the front. And I raise the hood. All right, we're going to do the engine compartment at this time. I start with my wiring.
There's nothing frayed. There's nothing burnt. Everything looks secure. I moved to my hoses. My hoses look good. There's no damage. Everything is secure. I moved to my fluids. My transmission fluid, I check when the engine is running. My oil, my oil level, I check when the engine is cool. My coolant level is at an appropriate level. I also check my power steering fluid. It's at an appropriate level. I moved to the steering linkage. It is secure, no movement. I look at my steering box. It is secure, there's no leaks. I look at my power steering hoses. There's no leaks, no damage. I moved to the suspension. I look at my shock absorber. It is secure, nothing's damaged. I moved to my leaf springs. There's no cracks, no welds. I look at my leaf spring mounts. They are secure. Finally, I look at my U-bolts. My U-bolts are in place and they are secure. Next, I will do my uh, air brake system. I'm looking at my air line. There's no damage to the hoses. Everything looks good. I move to the brake chamber. It is secure. There's no damage. I move to the push rod. It is secure. Then I look at my slack adjuster. It's at 90 degrees, no more than an inch play. Then I look over into the wheel. I look at the brake drum. Then also the brake lining to make sure there is no cracks or welds in the brake drum and the linings are an appropriate thickness. Next, we're going to do the tire. We're going to do the ICD method of checking the tire. First, we will check for the inflation with a tire gauge. Second, the C, we will check the condition of the tire. Front tires have to be new tires. They cannot be recapped. The condition looks good. There is no tears, bulges, or rips in the tire. D, we're going to check the tread depth. The tread depth on the front of the bus must be 430 seconds. Next, we will look at the rim. There are no cracks or welds in the rim. Next, we will look at the lug nuts. There are no rust spot, rust trails or shiny spots in the lug nuts. They look secure. Finally, we'll check the front hub seal. There are no leaks in the seal. That looks good as well. On the passenger side of the bus in the engine compartment, I will reach in and make sure that there's no more than three quarter inches of play in the serpentine belt. I will move back and look at my suspension and air brake systems and I will check everything over here, just like I checked over there. I will also check the tire. I will complete the ICD on the tire, just like I did on the other side. Now I'll close the hood. I will latch both sides. And I will move to the side of the bus. All right, we're on the driver's side of the bus. First thing we do is look up top. We look at our lights and our reflectors, make sure everything is secure, nothing's cracked, nothing's damaged or missing. Then we look at the stop sign, make sure everything on the stop sign is in good shape. There's no cracks, no damages. Next, we look at the battery compartment. Open it up, make sure that the battery is secure and that there's no corrosion. Everything looks good. Since our storage compartment is on this side, we open our storage compartment. We make sure nothing is in there that shouldn't be in there. Everything looks good. Now we will get up underneath the bus. Okay, we're going to look underneath the bus. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the frame. I see no cracks, no welds in the frame. It looks good. We move to the drive shaft. We look all the way down. Make sure all sections are secure. There's no damage. We look at the hangers. 
all hangers look good. Last, we look at the exhaust. I see no black marks, no damage to the exhaust all the way down. Everything looks good underneath the bus. Okay, I'm going to do the rear of the bus. First thing we're going to do is look at the suspension system. I'm looking at my springs, my leaf springs. There's no cracks, no welds. My leaf spring mounts look good. They are secure, no damage. I'm also looking at my U-bolts. My U-bolts look secure. They're tight, no damage. I will check my airbags and my shock absorbers behind the wheel. Next, we will move to the air brake system. I'm looking at my airline. My air hoses look good, intact, no damage. I'm looking at my brake chamber. There's no damage. Everything looks secure. Coming out of the brake chamber, I have my push rod and my slack adjuster. Slack adjusters at 90 degrees. Everything looks good. We move to the brake drum. There's no visible cracks. And we look at our brake linings. Their appropriate thickness. Everything looks secure and in place. As I move out, I look in between my tires and make sure there's no debris, no objects in between the tires. All right, we're going to do the rear tires at this point. We're going to continue with the ICD. The I stands for the inflation. We check the inflation with a tire gauge. C stands for condition. These tires in the rear can be recapped. The tire looks good. There's no rips or tears or bulges. We're going to look at the tread depth. That is the D. Tread depth should be no less than two 30 seconds. We'll move to the rim. My rim looks good. There's no cracks, no welds. We will look at the lug nuts. There's no rust trails or shiny spots. They look secure. Last, we will look at the rear axle seal. There's no visible leaks. Moving behind the tire. If your bus has flash guards, make sure that they're in place. Okay, we're behind the tires. To finish up our suspension, we're looking at the airbags. They are intact, no rips or tears. We're also looking at the shock absorbers. They are secure. Okay, we're going to check the rear of the bus. We're going to look top down. I'm looking at my lights, lenses, and reflectors. Nothing's damaged, nothing's broke. Everything is in place as it should be. I'm going to look at my rear exit. When I open my rear exit door, I'm gonna make sure it latches. I'm gonna look at my glass. There's no damage to the glass. I'm going to look at my seals on the inside and outside, make sure that it's intact and make sure that there's no trip hazards in the rear of the bus. Next, we're gonna do the fuel system of the bus. We're gonna check the uh, fuel cap, make sure that it's secure and tight. Next, we're going to look underneath the bus. We're gonna look at the cage, make sure the cage is secure. There's no damage. We're gonna look at the fuel tank. The fuel tank, there is no damage and it's secure. We're gonna look for leaks. There are no visible leaks, fuel leaks underneath the bus. Next, we're going to do the side of the bus. I'm going to look top down. I'm going to check everything on this side of the bus, just like I checked on the other side of the bus. I'm going to move to the def tank. I'm going to check the def tank cap. It is secure. I'm going to take, check the def tank itself. It is secure. And I'm going to make sure that there's no visible leaks underneath the def tank. Next, we're going to do the entry of the bus. First, we're going to look at our Chuck Poland sign. No trespassing sign, it is in place. There is no damage and it's fully visible. 
Next, we'll approach the door. Make sure that the door opens and closes correctly as it should. We will look at the glass. There's no cracks, no damages in the glass. We also look at the seals. There's no damage in the seals. Next, we will look at the bus steps. There's no damage to the steps. Everything looks secure and in place. We will check the stairwell, handrail. Everything looks good and it's secure. Lastly, we will check the stairwell light. There are no visible cracks or damage. Next, I'm going to board the bus and I'm going to look at my four safety emergency equipment, my first aid kit, my body fluid cleanup kit, my fire extinguisher is secure and in place and is in the green, and my reflective triangles are behind the seat. Next, I'm going to check the seat belt, make sure that it functions and there is no damage. I'm going to check the steering wheel no more than two inches of play and I'm going to honk the horn. Okay, I'm going to crank the bus. I'm going to turn my lights on. I'm going to check my rear heater. My rear heater works. I'm going to check my driver heater and defrost. It works. I'm going to check my windshield wipers. They work. I'm going to check my right turn signal. I'm going to check my left turn signal. I'm going to check my hazards. I'm going to check for a death indicator light. My death tank is full. Looking at my transmission temperature. It looks good. My water temperature looks good. My oil pressure is building and holding steady. I'm looking at my voltmeter. It is charging. My fuel tank is fuel. And my two air tanks are at 120. I'm also going to turn on my dome light and my strobe light. Now I'm going to check the rear of the bus. I'm looking at my dome lights. All of my dome lights are working. I come to my first emergency exit. I make sure the alarm sounds. I open it all the way. It works. I'm checking the seats. Make sure they're secure. I come to my rear hatch. I check the emergency alarm. I push up and make sure the, the strobe light is working. Come to the emergency exit. I listen for the alarm. It works. As I move to the front of the bus, I'm checking the seats and make sure they are secure. From the back of the bus, I come in and I, I am seated. My seat belt is secure, fastened. I will now begin my air brake test. My air pressure is above 120. My fan is off. My window is open so I can listen for air leaks. I will take the key and I'm going to go off, on, in. Off, on, and in. After the initial drop, I should not lose more than two PSI in one minute. It's been a minute. I press and hold the service brake. After the initial drop, I should not lose more than three PSI in one minute. After it's been a minute, I start pressing the service brake between 60 and 65. Low air warning light and buzzer will alarm. 
between 20 and 45, a parking brake will pop out. Now I can crank my bus. I will check one of three brakes. With low air, I will check the emergency brake. I will put the bus in drive and I will do a tug test. The bus did not move. I will put it back in neutral and wait for the pressure to build up to 120. My air pressure is almost to 120. You will hear the pressure release valve go off. Okay, the pressure release valve has released. We are above 120 PSI. We will now do a parking brake test. We will put it back in drive. We will do a tug test and we did not go anywhere. Next, we will check for the service brake. We will leave it in drive. We will check our mirrors to make sure no one is around us. We will release our parking brake. We will take our hands off the steering wheel. We will let the bus get up to five miles an hour and then we will press our service brake. And we will make sure that the bus, when we come to a complete stop, the bus does not go to the left or to the right. We put it back into neutral. We pull the parking brake and that completes our air brake test. Last, I'm going to ask the instructor if he will help me check the lights. Once he is off the bus and in front of the bus, he'll give me the go ahead to start. I start with my lights turned off. I turn my headlights back on. I check bright lights. I check my right turn signal. I check my left turn signal. I check my hazards. Hazards are good. Student pickup lights. I check my ambers. Very good. And my stop sign. My crossing arm does come out. Turn those off. The instructor will go to the back of the bus. He will give me the signal to begin. I will do left turn signal right turn signal. I will do hazards. Thing is good. I will do brake lights. I will do reverse lights. I will do student pickup lights, my ambers, my stop sign. The instructor will come to the door. I will open the door and I will ask him to check my stairwell light for function. And that completes my light check. Now we're going to do the post trip of this bus. First thing that we'll do is we'll turn the bus off. We will have 60 seconds to check the bus for students and deactivate the child find alarm. I'm checking for students. There are no students. Press and hold the child find feature. I recheck the bus. There's nothing on the bus that shouldn't be on the bus. No children. I come back. I sit down. Now we're going to bleed the brakes to zero. Make sure your brake 
brakes are bled down to all the way to zero. Once they reach zero, you press and hold the service brake. Try to apply the parking brake. It will not stay in. You shut your lights off and secure the key. Now I'll go outside the bus and rechalk the wheels. After I complete my post trip of my bus and I exit the bus, I will now rechalk the wheels. And this completes my post trip. Hello, I'm Lewis Satzer. Today I'm gonna perform a pre-trip on a transit school bus. First thing, if you'll notice, I have my wheels turned so I can see all the components up under the bus as well as my key in hand and my wheels are chalked. To start the pre-trip, I'm gonna take an overall uh, overview of the bus to make sure it's not tilted or leaning, which would indicate a flat tire or perhaps a broken leaf spring. All my lights and lenses are tight and secure with no damage. My windshield is properly sealed, no cracks, no damage. It is sealed with soft pliable rubber. My wipers have proper tension and the blades have no damage. Come down to the open the front of the bus. We're going to look at the Coolant reservoir is properly filled, no leaks, no damage. The lines and hoses are tight and secure. No damage, no leaks, no frays. Our power steering reservoir is properly filled, no leaks and no damage. Our steering linkage is tight and secure, no damage. The steering box is properly mounted tight and secure, no damage and no leaks. The windshield wiper reservoir is properly filled, no leaks or damage. We have a current and up-to-date inspection sticker. All of our mirrors are clean, properly mounted, tight and secure with no damage. Our bumper is level, is tight and secure with no damage. Our pupil crossing arm is tight and secure with no damage. We look up under the bus for any low hanging wires or any leaks. As we come around to the side of the bus, we look at the doors, they, they open freely, sealed with soft pliable rubber, the windows are clean, no damage, sealed with soft pliable rubber. My pupil entryway light is tight and secure, no damage. My floor tread is tight and secure, no trip hazards. My pupil handrail is tight and secure with no damage. Okay, I'm going to check up under my dog house and look at my engine compartment. I will check my oil on a stopped engine for proper fuel level. I will check my transmission on a running engine for proper fuel level. My hoses and wiring is tight and secure. No frays, no damage, no leaks. My serpentine belt is tight and secure. No damage, no frays, no more than three quarters of an inch play in my serpentine belt.
Okay, I'm approaching the railroad crossing. At 500 feet, I turn on my hazards. As I approach, I turn off my noise. I open my windows. I ask for my students to be quiet. I will stop no closer than 15 feet, no further away than 50 feet from the first track. I will come to a complete stop, set my parking brake, I will open my door, I will look, listen, live, look, listen, live, I will quickly shut my door, punch in my parking brake, and go. Once I'm safely across the tracks, I can turn off my hazards, turn on my noise, and proceed. Okay, I need to do an emergency stop. I'm gonna put on my right blinker. I'm gonna check traffic to make sure that I can safely get over. I'm gonna put my hazards on. I'm gonna pull my brake. I'm gonna put it in neutral. I'm gonna turn my wheel all the way to the right. If I need to get out of the seat, I would turn the bus off, I would put the keys in my pocket, and I would address the situation. Once everything is clear and taken care of, I will return to my seat, put my seat belt on, crank the bus, check traffic, put the bus back into drive, put in my parking brake, Turn my hazards off, my left blinker back on, I will check traffic, and I will ease back onto the road. I'm going to make a left-hand student pickup, 100 to 300 feet. I will turn on my ambers. I will start checking traffic. As I approach the stop, I will stop 10 feet away from the student pickup. I will come to complete stop, activate my stop sign. I will pull my brake. I will hold my students. I will check traffic, make sure all traffic is stopped. Then I'll motion my students across, counting my students, one, two. As they board, good morning, one, two. I look in my mirror, they are safely seated, one, two. I shut my door, I make sure no other students are approaching the bus, put in my parking brake and my stop sign, and I proceed. I'm going to make a left hand student drop off, 100, 300 feet, activate my ambers, checking traffic, I'm going to stop 10 feet away from the student stop, I'm going to activate my stop sign, pull my brake, I'm going to hold my students. I'm checking my mirrors, make sure all traffic is stopped, everything is clear. Students, when you get off the bus, stop in front of the bus. My students get off. I hold my students. I check my mirrors once again, make sure nothing is coming. I motion them across, counting my students, one, two. My students are off the roadway 10 to 15 feet away. I shut my door. Check my mirrors. No students coming back to the bus. Traffic is safe. Put in my parking brake. 
turn my stop sign off, and I proceed. Depending on road conditions, activate amber warning lights 100 to 300 feet by pressing flashers on. Stop 10 feet before the stop and activate stop sign and red flashing lights by pushing override red. Pull the parking brake. Check mirrors. Open door when safe by pushing door open and motion for students to load or unload. Close the door by pushing door close. Push in the parking brake. Check mirrors, especially crossover and side mirrors. Cancel stop sign and red flashing lights by pushing override red. Depending on road conditions, activate amber warning lights 100 to 300 feet by pressing warning lights start. Stop 10 feet before the stop and activate stop sign and red flashing lights by pushing service door button to halfway position. Pull the parking brake. Check mirrors, open door when safe by pushing service door button all the way and motion for students to load or unload. Close the door by pushing service door to halfway position. Push in the parking brake. Check mirrors, especially crossover and side. Cancel stop sign and red flashing lights by pushing service door button all the way. Depending on road conditions, activate amber warning lights 100 to 300 feet by pressing start flasher light. Stop 10 feet before the stop and activate stop sign and red flashing lights by turning switch to halfway position. Pull the parking brake. Check mirrors, open door when safe by turning switch to open door and motion for students to load or unload. Close the door by turning switch to halfway position. Push in the parking brake. Check mirrors, especially crossover and side mirrors. Cancel stop sign and red flashing lights by moving switch to closed door position. Depending on road conditions, activate amber warning lights 100 to 300 feet by pushing amber warning. Stop 10 feet before the stop and activate stop sign and red flashing lights by moving switch to middle position. Pull the parking brake. Check mirrors, then open door when safe by moving switch to door open position and motion for students to load or unload. Close the door by moving switch to middle position. Push in the parking brake. Check mirrors, especially crossover and side mirrors. Cancel stop sign and red flashing lights by moving switch to door closed position. Okay, I'm gonna do a student loading, unloading procedure. Activate amber warning lights 100 to 300 feet depending on road conditions. As I approach, I'm always watching. I'm gonna stop 10, stop, stop 10 feet before the stop and activate stop sign and red flashing lights by cracking the door. My door, which activates my red lights. I'm gonna pull my brake. Pull the parking brake. Check mirrors. Make sure traffic has come to a complete stop. When it's safe, I open my door. 
open door when safe, and motion for students to load or unload. If they're unloading, I'm going to make sure they're safe distance off the road. All right. Close the door, but do not latch it. Push in the parking brake. Check mirrors, especially crossover and side mirrors. Cancel stop sign and red flashing lights by latching door closed. 